The skins of three inmates, transformed into gruesome lampshades, were discovered in her hut. Extortion was her specialty, extracting every last cent from those who dared to defy her, leaving their lives in ruins. A master of blackmail, she wielded a trove of damning secrets to manipulate even the most powerful figures into submission. Human trafficking was another of her insidious trades, where the vulnerable became pawns in her heartless game. Narcotics flowed through her network like poison, addicting the masses while enriching her coffers. Corruption permeated every level, infiltrating the highest echelons of politics, ensuring her reign of terror remained unchecked. Her rule was an unyielding onslaught of violence and terror, allowing no room for compassion or redemption in the wake of her ruthless ambition. She was nicknamed the Beautiful Beast and the Hyena of Auschwitz by the prisoners due to her predatory and vicious nature. Irma Gresse was born on October 7, 1923, in Rechen, a small village in northeastern Germany. Her life began like that of many other girls in her time, but it took a dark and sinister turn as the years went by. Irma grew up in a poor family and experienced a troubled childhood. Her father was an abusive alcoholic, and her mother struggled to make ends meet. As she reached her late teens, World War II was in full swing, and Nazi Germany was looking for young women to join the SS. Gressy attracted to the power and authority that came with the uniform, joined the Nazi party at the age of 18. Her unwavering devotion to the cause soon caught the attention of Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS. She became a camp guard at the age of 19, and in March 1943, she was transferred to Auschwitz. She rose to the rank of senior SS supervisor in the autumn of 1943, in charge of approximately 30,000 women prisoners, mainly Polish and Hungarian Jews. This was the second highest rank that SS female concentration camp personnel could attain. Irma Greza had the power to determine who would be sent to the gas chambers and who would be subjected to forced labor. She would often choose those who appeared weak or ill, ensuring their fate in the extermination process. She routinely beat and physically abused prisoners using a whip or a stick. The beatings were often arbitrary and unprovoked, causing extreme pain and suffering. Gresse was known to take an active role in selecting prisoners for bizarre medical experiments, which often resulted in their agonizing deaths or permanent physical and psychological damage. She would withhold food and water from prisoners, leading to severe malnutrition and dehydration. This deliberate cruelty caused immense suffering and weakened the prisoners further. Gresse frequently used trained half-starved guard dogs to terrorize and attack prisoners. Many prisoners were mauled by these dogs, leading to injuries and sometimes death. She oversaw work details that subjected prisoners to grueling physical labor in harsh weather conditions, often without adequate clothing, food or shelter, there were reports of Gress sexually abusing female prisoners and subjecting them to degrading and humiliating treatment, adding psychological trauma to their physical suffering. She habitually wore heavy boots and carried a whip and a pistol. She used both physical and emotional methods to torture the camp's inmates and enjoyed shooting prisoners in cold blood. She beat some of the women to death and whipped others mercilessly using a plaited whip. The skins of three inmates that she had made into lampshades were found in her hut. These acts, among many others, earned Irma Gressi her notorious reputation as one of the most sadistic and merciless figures in the history of the Holocaust. As World War II approached its end, the Allies were closing in on Nazi Germany. Auschwitz was liberated by the Soviet Red Army in January 1945, and Irma Gressi's reign of terror finally came to an end. She was arrested and put on trial for her war crimes. The evidence against her was overwhelming. In December 13, 1945, Irma Gresi was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. What's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.